Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Okami Den. In the last episode, we got deeper into the moon cave on our own as Kuro was imprisoned. And in this episode, we need to be heading down to the first floor of the moon cave, which just opened up to us. So, let's cause mischief for this guy one last time. You really do have to wonder how this guy who you're supposed to power slash has managed to survive three power slashes. Not to mention, you can power slash the guy as much as you want. Of course, as you'd know, he's not going to go down. So, what do we got over here? We got a little bit over here. We have, um, we have Pot Tanukis right here. These are new enemies. You have to use Vine and a combination of attacking them to be able to bring them down. Doing that will take their lid off, and then you are free to attack them normally. So, Pot Tanuki are eh, kind of a new enemy. Not overly, but, you know, new enough, I suppose. And they just keep going back into their clamshell-like packaging. I really just called the packaging. So you can't hurt their tails or else they'll just duck into their packaging until... Packaging armor! Why am I calling it packaging? It's freaking armor! Yeah, well. Anyways, you see there, he actually went through the wall. If you check the wall, you can go ahead and head straight through it, which is a hint of what you gotta do, and I thought I was gonna fall down a pit there. We don't have any key for this door, so we can't do anything with that. Don't have a key there, so we can't do anything with that. And Chibi is just sounding very pitiful. Pitiful. Pitiful, but yet somehow adorable at the same time. And what do we got here? This is kind of screwed. Let's see if we can connect those two points using Vine. Doing that opens the mouth of that giant Orochi statue off in the distance. But we still can't get over there. How unfortunate. So I guess we'll have to turn back now. The thing is, if you look at the map, you can see that there are several rooms in this area. One of which contains a chest. So you gotta look at your map, there you get a permission slip. So, even though we were able to open the mouth of that older tree statue back there, we weren't able to actually do anything with it. So we gotta go ahead and grab that permission slip. And as you can see, this takes us back to the way we gotta go. And there are three rooms in here that we cannot yet unlock. So, let's go ahead and just head back up to that second floor. Let's see, a nice if tornado could just blow this thing up for me. So, he wants a tornado that would blow that up for him. So, we can go ahead and grant his wish by doing um, a bit of a whirlwind. I guess not really a skill whirlwind, but yeah. If you don't have this, if you don't have the whirlwind skill like I do, you can just go ahead and use regular old Gale Storm to do that. So, we're gonna head over here into the two room, and by doing so, let's go ahead and show them our permissions live and enter the tournament. Great! Orochi, you haven't got a permission slip! How in Orochi's name did you ever find one? They made two puns out of the word god there. Can't wait to see you get beat down, he says. Really, really want to spar. We're getting punched in the face hurts, he says. Now, while we're actually competing in this tournament, this kind of brings back some painful memories. Here we have to win five matches. We get a nice prize. You'll be one of Orochi's guards. All right. So, let's go ahead and enter this tournament. Now... The thing about this is that this is kind of laid out like it's got uh, some tatami mats and, you know, it's kind of laid out a bit like a dojo. And the thing is, I don't know if you guys knew this, but I was briefly in karate when I was a young kid. Briefly. Keyword briefly. And the reason for that is that imp's text brought back some painful memories for me personally. Is that I was in karate for one day... And second thing that ever, like, think the second match I was ever in, I got punched in the face and my nose bled. I just start bawling my eyes, and I'm like four years old, mind you, and I just instantly go, Mommy, I don't want to do this anymore! It was just, I'll openly admit, my, everyone I know that, like, knew me as a kid says you're, said, you know, everyone who knows you as a kid says that you were an adorable kid, but there's some cases where I think I just go beyond being the fact that I was an adorable kid, and I just sound like a pitiful kid at times. But anyway, uh, right here we got a green imp and a red imp. Guess they could make a, guess they could make a traveling circus and call themselves the Red Green Show. I don't know. I had to make some kind of pun out of something or some kind of joke, and that was just what I landed on. I bet a lot of Canadians are going to be amazed that as an American, I know what that is. It was actually on public access around where I grew up, surprisingly. But right there, we get a demon lever, which we, of course is always good. Get some money, and how to do. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Very 
Very nice, very nice. Third match. So we're on to the third match. Let's see. What do we got this time? So we had a green imp with a green and a red imp. We got a fire beast. Well, you know what I say to you, Mr. Fire Beast? I say I am going to... I'm going to make your day very unpleasant and I'll take everything from you but your shoes. And you don't even have any, so that's really bad. You are going to have one rotten day after I'm done with you. Let's just go ahead and use regular old wind. I've shown you his attacks and I almost got killed in the process, so I just kind of feel like being normal-ish. Uh, power slash? No? I guess I attacked him one time too many. Oh well. So we took care of that. And there we go. Did perfect. Can nothing stop this foul, this beast on four feet? All right, let the fourth match begin. Beast on four feet, I like that. I kind of do like that. So starting up this fourth match, what do we got here? We got two, three face tops and hey, they're both in fire form. This works out wonderful for you if you picked up Whirlwind. Now, I'm not gonna abuse this in boss fights or story room fights, but when we're fighting enemies that we have already encountered like this, I think I will just because it is so much quicker. And let's see here, let's go ahead and blow you that out. And let's attack a bit. And they're both in forms that are weak to win, so we'll go ahead and do that. And let's stun both of them. And did I, I did not get a floor finisher, I attacked him one time too many. Oh well, my bad. Let's just attack this one a little bit more to bring him down. And let's hope that we can actually get another demon liver from this because believe me, you want to stock up on demon livers right now because you're getting a lot of required battles with enemies that drop them and you are going to need them if you want to get a lot of good weapons. There's another item that you're going to want to pick up here if you want to get better weapons, of course. But we'll be getting into that a bit later. So, who would have thought he'd made it this far? Get ready for your fifth and final match! Okay, let's see what our final opponent is! Oh my god, I can't wait to see what it is. Oh my god, let's see. How powerful is it gonna be? We're fighting a Gasha Dokuro! Yeah, so... Things are a little bit bad for us. Kind of, sort of. Okay, well, not really. So, I'm kind of curious about something. It's got a red fairy in it. I'm wondering if that means that its floor finisher has actually been power slash this whole time, my memory has been wrong, as has every walkthrough I've looked at. I want to test that, because the Water Nymph, I remembered it being Wind, yet it was Power Slash. And ever since that, I have had my doubts about the Gasha Dokoros. So let's actually see. We go ahead and hit his chest open. He is going to try to do his Earthquake attack, which we can just walk out of the way of. Not difficult at all. And then just walk back up. I probably should have been charging my Glaive during that, but no, oh well. What's done is done. What's done is done. Power slash your face. That stuns him again. And let's power slash the red fairy. That didn't do anything. So maybe it really was Cherry Bomb that was a spoil finisher. I am at a loss because every walkthrough tells me it's Cherry Bomb. Yet when I know that I'm doing it right, it just doesn't work. Maybe someone will post a video response doing it very easily and they'll just be like, Chugga, you just suck at the timing. Which, honestly, that's probably what it is. I can't remember the last time someone fought so well. You proved your mettle, so now we'll reward you with this. The key will open any door in this cave. You've more than earned it. All right, so we now have the... <laughs> I'm sorry, but just the puns we could make out of the fact that we had to beat a skeleton to get that. I hadn't played this part in ages and I'd forgotten that it was called that. Oh my god. Might want to call it the Gasha Dokoro Key and not a skeleton key as he has an official name. Or, 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 hey, to get the skeleton key, we had to open his rib cage. Or even better yet, I think he got kind of boned on that deal if we didn't even need the key to open his rib cage. Okay, I'm done, I'm done. But anyway, how about. We head back up to that prison cell where Kuro and the others are being held. 
Okay, so first things first, go ahead and free these prisoners. Yeah, I'm being a jerk to Kuro. We use the skeleton key there. And let's see what they say to us. Thanks for getting us out. At last, I can finally go home. And we get some useless praise. Fifth time that we have been awarded with useless praise because we already have it maxed out. Let's see here, what else? We're gonna go ahead and open this one. Thank you, now we can go back to the village, thank you. And for the sixth time, we are thanked with useless praise. You know, saying that that praise is useless, is that just kind of being like, I'm a god and already enough people believe in me. I don't need any more people to believe in me. I'm strong enough as it is. It seems like it's what I'm saying. Right there, we get an exorcism slip if we go through that uh, hole in the back of that. So the, behind that magnet is actually what that is. And then lastly, in this stall, we have... Kuro. Sorry for saving you last, good buddy, but I'm pretty sure if they were going to take you out of here to cook you and eat you, I would have seen you walk by. Thanks for the save. I knew you'd come through for me. Whew. Never want to be trapped in there again. And for the sixth time, useless praise! So we got Kuro... Or not. We got Kuro back! I forgot to pick him up. And now... I say that we head back down to the bottom floor of the Moon Cave, over by where that Orochi head statue was. But, how about we do that in the next episode? So next time on Okamiden, we're going to be going into the deepest depths of the Moon Cave, seeing what was in those other rooms down there on the first floor that we could not open, and getting those collectibles I told you that you're going to be looking out for on the first floor, as well as seeing what's in the mouth of that Orochi statue. See you guys then.